Luminosity try to hold on to their dominant position they've had in bracket so far. Let's start our draft of our grand finals. Here we go. It's time for the Blissey ban again. But this time it's going to be, of course, Luminosity and TTV deciding whether or not they're going to allow these power picks from the other side to go whichever direction that they want. TTV sticking to their strategy they had in the winner's finals, banning away the Slowbro when on orange side. That means Luminosity is going to clearly get that Zorark. Now, does TTV want to take away a support Pokemon that can be used in pocket? We are hovering the Confei right now. This would eliminate Elo from having that Pokemon to work in tandem. You could take the Urshifu at this moment, but no, we're gonna grab the Lapras. Definitely a power pick. All right, Conte has really come back into this meta at the end of this tournament. Yeah. A whole lot of real strong way. But now the question is, what are we going to get? It looks like maybe the Hoopa. I mean, forcing somebody into a Hoopa pick, that's not like you're really taking that much away from them. The Mew as well, going to the side of Luminosity. That is three power picks off the bat. Oh, yeah. I know Overlord wanted the Confe, but Elo wanted the Hoopa. I know that is how that is going down. But Urshifu is going to go over to TTV as well as the Dodrio. I believe this means we'll probably see Luminosity putting Rain on something a little bit unconventional that we have seen so far in this tournament. Currently hovering over the Blastoise and with a Mr. Mime, this is an incredible combination. A Rapid Spin Blastoise with a Power Swap Mr. Mime is horrific for TTV to have to deal with. Final selection from them, the Alolan Ninetales. Otter has the Mew available, but we're actually hovering the Espeon currently. Yeah, oh, we, not, we, not yeah. <laughs> well, we, I mean, we've got many, many choices, honestly, at this point. I'm surprised we've seen so much less Chandelure. We saw actually a good amount from a lot of teams earlier, including these, but not going to be seeing that. The Espeon's coming in. That's going to give them probably a strong amount of secure, as well as, of course, having Celestial on that Urshifu. So once again, TTV going for a strategy. The only thing truly, truly denied from the side of Luminosity, I would say, is that Urshifu didn't give take away every single thing from them, though they've got a lot of their comfort picks once again. Yeah, the Dodrio and Kombi combination is going to mean a score lead is very easy for TTV to attain in the first few minutes of the game. We'll have to see how Luminosity can counter that with the Blastoise Zorark power picks. Either way, we're going to be kicking off this Grand Finals with Spraggles and Doom Snacks. Take it away, you two. Last matchup you are going to see before Worlds in Yokohama, Japan. LG, TTV, Game 1, Grand Finals, let's get after it. TTV trying to finish their storybook and write that perfect ending. LG looking to Spartan kick him into a pit to the depths of HE Double Hockey Sticks because LG ain't about that action. And Order of Overlord's going to have a lot to say to this squad. Here we go, Rain and Poinson in this top path just trying to make sure that they can get their stacks in early as we head down to the bottom path. And we see Curios getting pushed out right here. Obviously, Otter would have loved to pick up this Pokemon. Curios has been absolutely brutal this weekend on these attackers. They really have. They've hit another level. They are truly fueled being on stage. We were talking about Curios at home, Bruce Banner on stage, the absolute incredible Hulk. There we go. A big KO from Overlord. I think the first time they've ever played Zorark on broadcast, and it's looking good. <laughs> yeah, two KOs right out of the gate. Give him a KO opener, give him a follow up. And now their Celestial pulls up. There's three players there. Good screening out and bubbling out that barrier by Slash, buying Overlord uh, just enough time. They use that illusion to just get in. And out. They know interesting play here from TTV, bringing Urshifu in, but bringing the Water Bear, the Rapid Strike, so it can go toe to toe with this uh, Zorark on the side of Luminosity. It's going to be interesting to see which one of these Pokemon wins in these big fights. Yeah, between the Dodrio and the Rapid Strike Urshifu, they're going to have a lot of movement to get on top of Overlord and keep pace. That's the thing with Zorark; it zips around so quickly that sometimes it's difficult to shackle it down and actually land your move. So they're looking to match that intensity. Here we go, Utano having to pull back right here, getting in a little bit of trouble right now. The Confei popping off, hopefully in time, but no, it is not able to make it happen. Ender is now in some trouble right here, as it's hard to get home, just barely making it over to Celestial, as they're going to be able to jump in now and do some real damage to Rin. <laughs> this, that's a quick KO, that War Turtle couldn't stand there, and that's a good adjustment by Celestial to peel up and bail out Ender so they can hop a ride and not get KO'd themselves. Meanwhile, we've got the Confei and Celestial looking and working towards the middle. Lutano's looking at Curios as Curios is just trying to get as many of those Swablu and Altaria as they can. Nice big Solar Beam, but it does not do enough damage. Not even breaking that shield of Celestial right there. Lutano has evolved into a Dodrio. He has no hats on, so instinctively, I'm rooting against him. 
playing like his trainer card. No Hollower, no hats. Embarrassing. TTV going to have to do it somewhere else than on the drip game out here. And that's uh, playing with some Pokemon next. Yeah, I think they're going to want to show it with their skill. <laughs> Nerds! All right, here we go. Celestial in there. We got those 720Bs. They're looking at Overlord actually zipping through the Altarian Swab. We're trying to collapse on top of Otter. They can't quite close the door on him. The power swap from Slash is on top of Zugrug. And that attention is just enough to get Overlord back into safe territory. Now, we talked about this power swap the last time we saw it come out from Luminosity right here. And it seemed to be a real difference maker for them. And I think the Pokemon you're really going to want to watch this on is the Blastoise. Mm -hmm. The rapid spin with that power swap is insane. Saying Registeel already at half. Otter's right there for a big secure. Overlord's right there for a big KO. Just waiting for Otter to step too close. And as you saw Overlord engage on them, they actually weren't even hitting their buttons. They're using all their skills. Uh, Rin goes uh, down upstairs again. As Cheerios and Slash are just going to get Overlord out of trouble. That's really what they're trying to do. Meanwhile, TTV getting two quality KOs in the different path. Massive capture right there for TTV as they get that Registeel with the extra hit from the Water Pulse on the Lapras right there in that bottom path. And you got to see a little little bit of the stage there uh, in our bottom uh, of the screen, which is just so amazing when you see a secure. It's incredible to be here in person. Zorg unite back the other way. They get the support from Curios for the KO. They pick up both fairies. Now the collapsing on Zugrug. Here comes Lutana for the smoke. Try attack. Call him in there. Oh, Slash is getting low. They get engaged on that three players down for LG. Heck of a counter punch. So much so, in fact, three players down. TTV getting some points in. TTV raining the points in. They're up right now by almost 100 points, picking up a massive three KOs in this bottom path as they're trying to prove a point here ttv needs to win six matches against luminosity luminosity trying to close this thing out at three rin just needs to tick the tick over to blastoise before the five minute mark is pretty decent for them so they can really become a real character we know that's a huge threshold between war turtle and blastoise so getting them online is going to be pivotal and they just ticked over Heading up to the top path right here, we have four members of Luminosity ready to take this Regieleki. No one from TTV really ready to secure it as this walks towards the side of TTV. Nice side shock hits the Zoroark, but they're going to have to decide whether they want to push this or not. And it looks like Luminosity may be peeling back here. Yeah, good stop in the bottom path to keep Lapras. That's Zugrug scoring 40 points there, so great way to cut them off. Meanwhile, Dodrio getting more points and more stacks, and Elo tries to go for a little Phantom Force to try and stun and send Lutano in different directions. Slow Smoke comes out, but oh, it's a Unite move by Overlord. They already got one. Whoa. Ender with, Rinder with the auto test back the other way. Ender feeling good about that. They say, I'll play support, but in this moment, it's a draft. Beautiful stuff. Way to tap that A button, buddy. Pick up a big KO on Overlord. I mean, incredible as the bait there into the Unite move. Really great from Overlord, but of course it couldn't withstand the Confe Collar. No, too, just too, Confe too strong. I mean, we've actually we've seen some Secures out of Confe. Now we're seeing KOs out of Confe. It's a crazy world out here in the Grand Finals. Finally, a Hoopa Unite, but they go down real quick before anybody can come through. We have the Confe Unite on top of the goal zone to sustain some of this team. And we're Celestials going deep. They're up to 10, 11, 12 hits there as they're raining in damage on this LG squad. Another Slow Smoke comes through. We got the Spirit Fingers out. Mr. Mime is all over them. They're trying to put on a show themselves. And TTV finally goes, okay, 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 let's get to that Red Jice. Red Jice getting a little low right here, but Luminosity is ready to come back in and fight over this. As you can see, we have Overlord moving towards this on the Zorg, looking to pick up a KO first on Zugrug, but no, jumping back down, using the combo to actually help the team secure the objective. See, he doesn't always go for KOs. Sometimes it's securing objectives too. Well, they certainly got that. Curios getting another one for their tally total on the weekend. Slash is getting incredibly low. Overlord has to cut off Lutano in the top path. But now they're following up. The Rapids can water spout. His dealing damage, but more is coming back the other way. Two players down for LG. Now TTV is back on this goal zone. Let's see if we can do this siege again. We were working on it before. Let's get it happen this time. 40 doesn't go in. And now all of a sudden LG pulls back up for the smoke. These teams are scrapping and knuckle dusting each other left, right, and center. There is no rest for the wicked out here in the sky ruins. Yeah, and both of these teams are very very wicked because they are not sleeping at all in this match. Constant fighting back and forth. I think both of these teams are playing like they have something to prove. And what they're trying to prove is that they're the best team in North America. 169 to 108. That's not a huge score differential here. So you kind of have to look to the experience. And it looks like TTV has the better of it as of right now. LG needs to look for some opportunities, some quality picks, and start stemming the tide in the other direction. Yeah, it definitely seems like TTV has the better of this match right now but you know what we've really not seen this blastoise come online at all the power swap missed in that last fight i can't wait to see when that combo really does get activated for the side of luminosity
it's going to be have to come in short order here as they actually get bullied off this Reggie Alecki. They're going to go to other places on the map. Meanwhile, TTV is actually trying to score in this bottom path tier one gold line. And you can see right now TTV dealing with this Reggie Alecki, maybe moving away from it right here as it did get leashed. There is 20 seconds left on the clock. They could secure it. This match is so incredibly close. 159 to 169, 15 seconds until the first Ray Quaza of your grand final. They have been scrapping it out. This game has gone through in a blink of an eye, just punch after punch after punch, engagement after engagement, catch after catch, and now we have a Ray Quaza, and TTV's the first ones there. That's right, we have two tier one goals open. Both teams know that they could take this opportunity to score. We have Dodrio in the top path for TTV. Everyone's kind of waiting to decide how they want to start this thing. Obviously, both teams don't know who is ahead right now. They can possibly guess, but it's so incredibly close. Overlord gets some vision for the team. Lutano here in the top path. We see Otter in the tall grass right now. As Curios getting caught a little bit by the water pulse. And here are some points right there. And that actually puts them up by two. That was what are the odds? Did they know? That was clearly planned. All of a sudden, TTV seems to be moving through, see who they can catch. And now Slash and Elo are going to cut Reeves. Oh, Eli gets caught out of the hyperspace hole. They can't get back. And now the pressure is on Celestial on the backside here. How is TTV going to adjust? It looks like TTV is just starting to hit Rayquaza a little bit. The hyperspace hole resetting luminosity. No one wants to pull the trigger on this thing. No one is sure who is ahead, but now they have to be positive after that score. Here comes the Hoopa Unite move. The rings are unbound, and that's a stun of three players. Where's the follow-up? We're wrapping up in Water Star right in the middle. Dodrio goes into the Showtime follow-up. As the Unite moves are flying, Slash is getting about half HP. Rin is pivoting on top of Zugrug. They almost get caught in the bubble beam. Hydro Typhoon catches the Paris Celestial and the, and the Comfey. They get chipped up, but Overlord gets the first KO. There's two players down for Luminosity simultaneously. Rapids and Waterspout is still ripping and gripping on nobody, but Zugrub's about to score on Burger back the other way. KO Shrink two for Overlord, and they go straight to score. 269, 195, and now are they going to get their points in? There's three players down for TTV. Overlord's trying to babysit, but they kept them from getting any points in here. Slash goes down. Overlord coming in and trying to take down. Lutano misses the combo right there. Lutano going to be able to fight back. Zugrug is here. The Lapras is here to defend. Meanwhile, Overlord's in the central area. He's going to have to decide whether he wants to head to the top path or continue to fight down here in the bottom path. There's only 10 seconds left in this match. TTV is ahead. They need to make a play right now. Luminosity lost sight of what's going on. They need to collapse this goal zone, but it's going to be too late. There's not enough time. There's plenty of defense there. Can they get any of these points? And four players down. Can they get the whole scrub on him? Those Lash isn't there to get KO'd which means TTV holds it down. TTV doesn't know they're ahead right now, but you know what? I kind of do. Yeah, it's you know. It's fun did. to watch right here as TTV takes game number one. What a back cap by Zugrug to give them that big lead, and then that almost diffused what LG was trying to do. Definitely, if you're watching the Pokemon Unite Championship Series for the first time, you may not know our bracket structure, but we are in a grand final situation where TTV came from the loser's side. So they will need to win a best of five series against Luminosity, and then a second one if they want to be your tournament champions. Luminosity Gaming will only need to win this first best of five if they want to become the tournament champs. Well, TTV is well on their way to giving us a long night of Unite here, as they're going to be sticking with what looks like the same bands overall on both sides as we get into this draft. Well, they are flip-flop, though, I believe. Oh, so TTV wait. actually choosing to ban Blissey this right. time around. Luminosity choosing to take the Slowbro ban. So they're going to be living in each other's shoes a little bit so to speak a TTV gets that first Pokemon selection and Kofi is locked ah. in for TTV okay TTV continues to uh, completely confuse me with their draft strategies giving the ultimate terrifying duo to Luminosity right off the bat wow and now they get the Lapras on the other side I mean Luminosity doubling down into these damage dealers they're so confident on getting rid on the Urshifu makes sense to me and Overlord on the Zorark as well I mean a contested pick Celestial Zorark very fantastic in the tournament that we've seen it so far but the Lapras of Preserve Zugrug and the Mew for Otter. I mean, these are some powerful picks on the side of TTV. And we actually know, oh, the Trevenant coming in, that's a difference, but we do know that they can basically just go to the exact same comp that they were earlier if they would like to. That's the way that TTV has set this up. And honestly, if that's their goal, they're like, hey, we did well with this, let's just do it again, then that's exactly what they're basically gonna get. But Celestial this time will be on 
the buzz wall a really cool pick potentially going to be able to dunk some speedsters and maybe stop them from doing quite as much damage as they want but we'll see if that works out i think buzz was a fantastic final pick here for tcb it's going to be going into the alolan nine tails that curios is going to last pick here but with the buzz wall on your roster in those final moments when all that team fighting is congested into a small area and especially when celestial is going to have that bonus healing from ender from the confe buzz wall is really going to be able to make a lot of space and make it a nightmare for overlord to find an entrance in that team fight and probably Dodrio will be somewhere else scoring but the impact <laughs> will still be made right we I actually have not seen competitive Confei plus Buzzwall since the buffs to Buzzwall sustainability so that overall could be a very hard Pokemon to take down overall very similar comp from TTV Luminosity getting basically most of what they want let's see if they can take advantage of their classic duo as we get into game two of grand finals Buttering two sides of bread, are you out of your mind? As we head into game number two right here. You know, one thing that Luminosity did not have last round that they do have this round is Rin back on that Urshifu. Stolen away by TTV, and it actually looked fantastic last game for TTV. So I wonder if that's gonna be a real nice place for Luminosity to get back to here as Rin is dashing across the path here, looking for a quick stack of that attack wave. Yeah, interesting that they're prioritizing putting Overlord into the central area to get them their level 5. I mean, Kubfu is a tragedy out here as a Pokemon. It really needs to hit Urshifu to become a player. And here we go. Tournament wins this season. TTV 1, Luminosity 2. Right now, TTV is looking to tie that up and then put a nice bow on it by being the champions here in North America. But as Zoinks mentioned, they've got a long road ahead of them. Coming from the loser's bracket, they have to win this best of five do it all over again against the world champ. Absolutely. A quick score by Overlord. They dash in, grab a berry for themselves, and they're looking for a further engagement. Rin is getting chunked, and they are low because they're just level 4. And so is Slash, actually. They're going to eat an electric. Ball and Zuckrug pivoting over to them. They don't even want the Kubfu. They're going to take the guaranteed KO and Slash doing the best they can to buy some time. But Lutano's coming in and they see Overlord. We see a little tribe buy coming through as we're doing a tri attack though. Drio action. Overlord forced to peel back and get some berries. Looking for the re engage with the feint attack. But Zuckrug sticking in the pocket looking pretty good. And the rest of TTV is going to be able to bail. Here we head up to the top path. We do have a level five on that buzzle. It is pushing forward into the face of no Luminosity right here. Looking to see if they can pick up a KO as Confe hops off and on to give that shield over to Buzzwool. Slash still level four right here. Overlord level seven, <laughs> but getting punished right now in some trouble. Can they pick up this last hit? Whoa! Whoa! What a beautiful oh. illusion. Illusion, those invincibility frames. Overlord is perfect at those. We've seen them use that all weekend long, but that was the most crystal clear example of that in that moment. And they even did it through the repositioned solar beam. Meanwhile, Elo finally an Eldegoss, but they are getting eviscerated. What a magic moment, but not magic. Illusion. Magic. Illusion. We, we kind of look like magicians, right? We talked about that. <laughs> yeah, we kind of look like magicians. <laughs> okay, from there, Overlord finally gets some sags in, using their invincibility frames. They're actually not using that to dodge, but to pick up a little bit of speed. Woodhammer's coming out chunking, too. Is there going to be any follow-up? No, Slash is actually just doing that by time. Finally, Overlord commits and says, come on, Ren, we can do some work now. Otter gets low, but they don't have enough to close the door. Zugrug is taking tons of damage, but here's the buzzle. Celestial tries to poach Ren and put him back on the other side. Tons of support here. A nice little cotton ball coming in to land on Ren to dab off those wounds. Overlord's still on the backside. They finally find Otter, and now Lutano's scrambling to see if they can help the squad pick up Overlord, and there's got to be no shot to get out of this, right? Pop, pop, and the wood hammer stop! That is LG at its finest. Overlord makes it out. Somehow Overlord gets out of that. The grass not even grabbing Overlord right there, but it just was not enough. Grass not a move that you don't often see played on Kumpe, but that is what Ender is bringing to the table here for TTV. They are really trying to figure out ways to isolate Overlord to keep them from taking over the game, but those engagements will never stop. Overlord wants that action. Lutano is low. Comfy hops on just in time. Ender with the save, but it's not enough to save them from Slash, as now Ender is looking for another ride to take, and who else but the fairy, F-E-R-R-Y Pokemon. There we go. Reggie Steel going down to Luminosity after a really nice fight from them, being able to knock out multiple members of TTV, push them back towards their goal zone, and now they're looking to rain some more points in right here. Big 40 from Overlord as they are continuing. Huge KO. Lutano turning it right around, picking up a double.
Picking up a double and D. Oh, Ender getting credit for one. Hitching a ride back on Lutana. Overlord's on the backside. That Dredrio Knight to close the space. Overlord's darting around and they're trying to pick up the pot and cotton balls. Elo is trying to keep them up. That is a fruitless endeavor. It's a three on one. And Elo, can they sustain this? Can they protect this goal zone? It looks like it's not going to happen. Slash comes in just enough time. Tries to horn leap the team away and bring them back with the wood hammers. Zugrub taking a ton of damage. Lutano going to re engage. They try it back, back through. They dart through and pick up Elo. TTV is playing on an absolute mission here. Here, and they are looking to take flight. They're looking to fight three members of Luminosity right now. They know they're all there. They are not afraid. <laughs> Big Grass Knot grabs two, pulls them into each other, but not able to pick up the KO right there. They are lining them up with this move where if you hit two Pokemon, they are pulled together and they take a ton of damage right there. And they are setting up some beautiful <laughs> plays with it as they are pushing towards this tier one. 127 to 150 right now. Rin is the only one down here for the defense, but here comes Curios with that massive Blizzard. Avalanche and it does take down Lutano. Lutano finally goes down I and mean, this might this finally keep the pressure off for a moment but no Lozugrub turns around the Comfy's still there Ender's there we got this we got this let's try and get as much as we can I mean TTV is cooking and they bring in the south absolutely as this Reggie Alecki walks towards the top <laughs> here comes the Lapras this where they got a Comfy on there they got Lapras bringing in the I mean there's a lot of, there's a lot of players of TTV coming up top oh and they got the express ride all the way up there they tried to find overlord ultimately given the support and really isolating this goal zone to protect it slash flying super far forward are they going to go for a big horn leash trevor knight only chips up otter in the back line Solar Beam comes through. They rip through the damage. Two players now for TTV and LG's, L, excuse me, LG's finding some purchase here. Zugrug going for the push. They actually get Horn leached out. And now LG's out of this goal zone. Reggie Lucky hits, and that thing is gone. Yeah, they score very, very fast right there. I can't tell if they wanted to score that quick because of the attack weight on the side of Rin, or if they just want to break this goal zone and move on. They did have more points on the side of Overlord right here, as Slash is in a lot of trouble right now. We're going to see if Travis Presley can get out of this somehow, but it does not look like it. It's going to be hanging hanging out in this flux zone until it goes home. The Elvis press tree sent packing real quick is now Luminos is collapsing on Lutano. They don't have any help, which means they get KO'd pretty easy. 154, 193. This match is incredibly close. Zugrug down here in this bottom path, taking some of this experience right now as we wait for our teams to get together for this next big fight. Three members of Luminosity, two members of TTV. No waiting here. Overlord running straight down, not in cover, going for it, throwing all this stuff in the kitchen sink at it. Rin gets it with the Wicked Blow. Now they're engaging back on Zugrug. The Grass Knots are coming out. Solar Beam comes through, but Overlord dodges it. Rin gets the first KO on the Lapras. The follow-up is going to try and find Otter and Ender, but they do not. No, they do not. They're going to pull back from this fight, which is very unusual for Luminosity. It looks like we're looking to put some more points on the board. They are looking to break this top goal with a one or a two. I mean, on a small overdunk here, but they just don't want them to have that positional advantage. They want to put more points on the board. They may even want to stack up their attack, but as Lutano is trying to get out right here, not able to make it out. Zorox just too fast. Too fast, too furious, and furious is LG after losing game one. They going for it. Thugrug, nice little bubble beam there. Slash and Elo remain on top of them. Finally, buying time. Zugrug's in there. Tons of damage is rolled in, and Overlord says, that's enough for you. Nice Reggie Alecki here for Luminosity. They are behind on points right now, but this could put them in a really good position, especially if TTV decides to let this walk. 30 seconds on the clock, so TTV does have time to deal with this, but 30 seconds until Ray Quaza hits the next massive fight that's going to break out between these two teams. Curios very quietly level 13. We haven't seen them much in these team fights. They've actually been insulating and protecting these goal zones from the TTV uh, pushes here. And that's a good look because that is going to be a surprise factor for them when Curious finally engages into these other teams. Speaking of surprise factors, take a look at Slash right here, playing very far forward, possibly looking for a catch on the members of TTV so that the rest of the team can move in. We see TTV moving as a complete unit up through this top path right here into the central area of Luminosity. They may be looking for Zorark, and they are. They're trying to get a pick up on Overlord, and they oh, do. Oh, oh. They find their target. Cotton Crash goes over the top. They're trying to get some space. Can they collapse back on Elo? 
Hilo. Hilo's left alone. Rim's already going for the back half. Hundo Burger, he might as well do something. Yank in the fight. Celestial picks it up. Otter puts it down. Curios now trying to get spacing back the other way, but TTV says we can score too. 319 to 293. We are still walking on the razor's edge. TTV needs to take advantage of this moment. Two members of Luminosity are down. The question is, what are they going to do with it? They are slightly ahead on score. A KO on Slash right here would be huge if they could get it. Curios in a lot of trouble. Here comes the buzz will unite, and they're looking for it, but it looks like they're able to actually make it out. And Rin is coming back, and Overlord is now back. Rin is still holding their Unite move, a couple on the side of TTV. They've been very conservative with that. Overlord looking for an opportunity, but now they're on the backside. They're getting collapsed on, and they get KO'd. Pick up one, slam them on the other. That's a two for one. A Comfy Unite has to come out to try and keep up TTV as the collapse continues. They see Rin, they want to get Rin, and the chase is on, and Lutano's got the speed. They look for a Wicked Blow, but it didn't land anywhere on anyone. Rin is still so low. Elo's going back to the left, and TTV says one, two, three, four, five. Give them all to me. Give us all the points. It's ducket time, baby, and TTV's here to play. TTV is up right now. 30 seconds left in this match. The only shot for Luminosity is a very sneaky score situation or somehow taking Rayquaza fast enough while TTV continues to put points in this goal zone. 521, 293, 15 seconds left, and there is nothing Luminosity can do about it. TTV is up two games to zero in our grand finals come on dude i'm see i we just watched two more pages in that fairy book ending get written here ttv is bringing some unique ideas some unique strategies and they are cashing them in in a big way on the biggest stage and don't forget lg's won two of these events but the biggest one of the season up until this point was won by ttv of course if they win this next one they're gonna need to win a whole other best of five but ttv has all the momentum in the world oh, wow, that's almost an understatement illuminosity now has to find a great answer but whoa interesting we're gonna see potentially here the confei ban of course something that's been working out quite well for ttv themselves but this time they're like no we're gonna make sure you don't take it First. I think this is a TTV drafting strategy where they don't want the Comfe, so they are going to ban it away, give the Zorark to Luminosity as that first pick, and then grab a different kind of support Pokemon on their double pick in return. And the Mew to take it away from Otter. <laughs> we, we said it before. They're like, okay, 100k, that's a little bit too much. Wow. Blitzy first pick in Grand Finals. Here we go. I know Deuce Next was saying that this is one of the most important parts of Luminosity is getting slashed on one of the most powerful picks they've ever had in the Blizzy. A great response by TTV. The double defender composition makes its debut for this roster as Celestial will be bringing that Lapras into the top half. Hold on, is Wait. this a real pick? Oh, 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 okay, okay. For a second, I was really intrigued. I feel like they really need to pick this up, though. Yeah, you cannot hand that over, especially for free. They need at least some of their comfort picks here. The Zorark is still available, of course, but you got to pick that up. Some multiple power picks, but like you mentioned, the first time that we're going to see this double uh, defender Slopris uh, comp so far. Yep, exactly. The la uh, the Espeon locked in, and of course, the Eldegoss is going to be the main selection with how much defensive Pokemon you have, Pollen Puff is going to go a long way. We're relying, we're relying on a lot of damage to come from Otter and Celestial, though. Let's see what their final pick is. Luminosity, though, hovering their final two. Going to take mm. away the Venusaur. Mm. Currently Overlord, baiting us a little bit with the Serena with a last second, second pivot over towards the Sylveon. Love the Sylveon pick here, to be honest. I mean, we know that it does really, really well against uh, Lapras, if you can space that out really well. I mean, there's, there's a chance that we're not going to see how Voice. It does look like with that uh, build, though, we would see Hyper Voice. That's what it's going to go to. Oh, yes. oh, there we go. The guard. I have criticized this Gardevoir quite a bit, but into this composition of LG, I adore it. I think this Luminosity, I think this Luminosity composition is going to be so susceptible to this long range special attack damage. And with Luminosity Gaming going to be trying to play really clumped up, I'm looking at Blissey, I'm looking at Venusaur. Those fairy singularities and even just natural Psy Shock attacks are going to be getting so much value. And how do you get to Lutano? You got Celestial and Zubrock doing peel. 
That's true. I mean, especially we don't have the longest, longest range on the side of Luminosity or the biggest dive that we've ever seen. We're going to have to depend a lot on some of those solar beams hitting. We did see the switch over from the Sylveon over to Ren. And so we're going to have a few different new strategies on the side of LG. But let's see if TTV can reset this bracket here and make it back to even in Grand Final. Overlord is now on the Water Bear here. That is going to be really cool to watch because it's extremely impressive. I don't. I, I guess it could be the single strike, but I often see them play that rapid strike. Thing. Yeah, like when you have the Venusaur for the secure as well, then you can usually pivot. You know, you want to supplement one with the other here. Moving forward is Slash looking for an opportunity. Can't quite poach that wild Pokemon away. The pressure is on as Otter is trying desperately to get the Espeon so they can really start impacting this path. Zugrug looking to steal that right there. Otter able to get their level four early. It's going to be tough for Slash right now. If Otter's just able to zone them out pretty well. Here comes the XP. They actually don't try to take down Slash. Instead, try to secure some of that wild Pokemon experience. And they do. They, ke they keep successfully Rin from evolving here. And now we've got both of our level four evolutions for TTV. Overlord just hits level five. They do go with that rapid strike Urshifu that you mentioned. So always looking for poach opportunities. Ender's peeling down their level three just to Gossifleur. They're looking to tick over as well. And look at this. Four members of TTV moving through this bottom path right here. They are looking to catch Overlord and see if they can get a quick KO on it. Overlord now moving in here. And this is what this rapid strike Urshifu is known for. Nice eject button so Lutano can get out safely. Well, because Overlord committed to the player, TTV was able to get a lot of experience there for themselves as Luminosity has to readjust. TTV really throwing different looks at this LG squad, keeping them on her toe. Now they're going to be throwing a lot of damage at this TTV squad as the Hyper Voice is coming in, points are raining into this top goal zone. Ender coming back up here as the little Gossip Lord trying to defend some of this, but Overlord is getting those stacks in early. Quick stacks, tons of damage raining in. Ender's level three, they eject out. Make sure they don't get KO. We got a Parish Song out of the Lapras, and that's a quick time KO, and a good one for them as Curios and Elo are just hanging back. They're trying to buy some space and secure and really ultimately get Curios to Venusaur. Really nice KO from TTV. Level-wise, things are looking good for TTV. Haven't scored at all yet. Luminosity, the only team to put some points on the board as they clear out this central area. Altaria Swablu very, very fast. They just want to build pressure on the dam by getting level leads, and then you just siege goal zones and get your points in that way. They're not too stressed about seeing that donut right now because that's not exactly what they're trying to do. As we have once again Overlord moving in here, just continuing to get their stacks, trying to get back through this portal, and do they make it? They do. That is a clutch reset and would have been another phenomenal catch for TTV. Poor Ender finally getting an Eldegoss. They were level three for so long. We've got level sevens on this map already, Spragle. Here we go. Swablu Altaria, nice hyper voice, and it actually is able to get secured on the side of Luminosity Otter. Not able to make it in time, though. They do grab that one here. Slashing a little bit of trouble, taking a ton of damage as Ender makes their way to this bottom path. We're going to have to see which team wants this bottom objective more as we have Registeel spawning. Uh, Overlord actually goes for an engage and gets caught a little bit with a with a ton of damage as TTV was just trying to secure the wild Pokemon and they actually have to go back pick up some berries so they can re-engage. Nice egg bomb chips up too. We're gonna get a pollen puff react the other way. These supports are just lobbing in all their abilities here. Solar Beam from Curios doesn't find anybody. Hyper Voice though buys some space. Overlord pretending like he's not there. I think everyone knows he's there. They just don't know exactly when he's gonna come in. Nice big Unite move picks Overlord up. Not able to grab a KO here as they are flipping onto the Registeel right now. Sometimes the work being done is just the fear of Overlord being there. They commit and they get a big time KO. Registeel's still up. Can they shoot all their abilities in there? Solar Beam comes through, secured by Curios. How many times have we said that this weekend? Big Surf, chips up on Rin, no follow up there. They're just getting spacing. Lutano decides to peel. They're about to take over level nine and get their Unite move. Yeah, really nice stuff there from Luminosity. Even though they did give up a big KO there from Overlord, they still were able to get the objective, which has a lot more value than just a single KO. Good play from TTV, but it's hard to out-secure that Solar Beam Venusaur. Absolutely, and that's curious. They've been doing that all week on on any Pokemon mm -hmm. they've picked up, and that's what they need to do, right? If they're going to put Rapid Strike Urshifu onto the map, they need those Solar Beams to land true. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've mentioned it a few times, but this is probably the best Curios I've seen all season of Pokemon Unite. They've been playing fantastic this weekend on all of these attackers here as they are looking to get their level 9 very shortly here, evolved to a Venusaur. 
We see the TTV squad finally pulling up. Celestial's been up here for a minute. Another solar beam comes through. Another objective. Very singularity lands on top of Pop's players. Whoa, that was an urge. You using their Unite move. They get caught in the Parashong. They get KO'd. Bird and Anger follow up. Is Curious going to be able to shell in damage? TTV's trying to stay on their goals unprotected. We have a Uni by Unite move by Brand. They're trying to engage. Otter's getting low. They back up. They don't get kept, caught by the solar beam at all. And TTV is going to make the stand. TTV makes the stand here, stops that from going in, but still a big zero on the side of TTV. They need to put some points on the board here. Obviously, before the end of this game, we can expect something from TTV. But right now, they have not been able to score as Luminosity is sieging this bottom goal zone and continuing to extend their lead to 150 points. 150 points. Nice. It has to be on Unite. Catches four. Is there going to be the follow-up on Curios? That's where they seem to be going as TTV, and they get them. KO streak of two for Otter. Now we have an Elo going rings unbound, stunning two down. That big Moonraker laser doesn't hit anybody, but nobody from LG going to take this portal. That was more of a defensive one to protect that goal zone, it seems. Yeah, it looks like. Well, they don't want him to score. They haven't been able to score a single point all game. We are more than halfway through this match. Reg Ice here in our bottom path, and it looks like even still, Zugrug in this, excuse me, Celestial in this top path, not able to score as two members of Luminosity are just pushing them off. Good vision getting caught by Slash here as they're just trying to figure out where TTV wants to be. And it looks like they want to be in the top half. Looks like they're sieging a goal zone. Otter's starting to, uh, excuse me, Otter is trying, starting to rip through this thing. And Zugrug's there in support. Slash is just hanging out. See if we can do some kind of egg bomb miracle plays here. As they're just trying to bully Otter out. And they're pretty successful, leaving Zugrug to work on this Reg Ice. Yeah, you can see Slash right there, the egg bomb actually getting rid of the passive there on Espeon, which is very valuable as well. Meanwhile, more points are going in for Luminosity. 192 to zero. This is really getting out of hand here, and TTV is going to need to make something happen points wise. Yeah, despite Lutano being the biggest character on the map, Luminosity is certainly stressing them on the scoreboard. Another objective secured by Curios, making number three for them this game, as they're going to be able to rotate so well. This is uh, Elo's uh, hyperspace highways have been on point and well timed to get them in the mix. Lutano, Zugrug trying to suss out where LG is. This is such a bizarre match for many reasons uh, to me, Dupes. Thanks. I think the biggest one is it feels like TTV is right in this thing, but they haven't scored a single point, which is just very odd for them and very odd for a team that seems to be still be doing somewhat well as this Reggie Alecki is walking towards the top path. We got a big brawl possibly breaking out here as Overlord's jumping in. Yeah, we have the surf. We have the slow beam on top of Overlord. They get KO'd quickly, and this might be the opportunity to pivot. They try to surf, but there's a Phantom Force out of there. Look at that Unite move going real deep. Celestial trying to bubble out Luminosity, and they're successful. TTV shrinking that lead instantly. Yeah, they're shrinking that lead, but they just use their Unite moves here at about the 2 minute 45 second mark before Rayquaza. This could be a very, very dangerous situation for them. Luminosity ahead on score. Every single one of them has a Unite move. As you can see, TTV is desperate to move around the map and KO Wild Pokemon to get some experience and get some Unite move charts. One nice thing is I think they assume Luminosity is not going to rip Rayquaza, but here they are positioning themselves for that. They're, that's exactly right. They say we can expend this resource of this Lapras Unite move because they're most likely not going to rip this thing. But look at LG taking a huge forward posture and rip this thing. Nope, they just chip into it. Let's see if they can get on top of Celestia. Celestia's a half HP. We have a Hyperface all open. Who's going to go for the first big time engage? Overlord follows up on Zugrug. Surf back the other way. Straight and who rings are unbound. Right back. Let's just on top of Overlord. And they're on the chase for Otter. That's who they want. Can they close it down? They do. They're going to have to pivot back the other way. Celestia's at half HP and they're going to get stunned down. LG's actually pivoting on top of the Rayquaza here. Are they shelling in damage? Where is Lutano? That's a big time question. Celestial getting buckled down here. Parasong has got Slash so low. Lutano still standing. They are unscathed. Elo and Overlord are on top of Ender now. They're two players down for LG. Let's see if they can find another opportunity here. El Finally, Lutano taking a little bit of damage, but LG's fighting this thing out. They don't want TTV to have any room to breathe. But now TTV, if they make it back into this fight, Dupes next, they will now have Unite Poops, ironically enough, as we see See Celestial just getting taken down here, possibly by Luminosity. They're putting the damage in, but that sustain there on Lapras is incredible. Rayquaza is getting extremely low right now as we have the Surf coming in. Lutano with the secure! They let Lutano just hang out on babysat. They didn't touch them at all. And now Curios is going to have to try to run some defense and break that shield. Unfortunately, they peel down. Those points are going in. TTV stretching this lead out like Taffy. Where is LG? Where is the follow-up? Three players down. Better make it four. Blitz 
Jesse on the chopping block. Parrish Song sends them packing. And TTV, three in a row, baby. Are you kidding? TTV up 498 to 192. Three members of Luminosity down, and that looks to be the game. I can't believe it, but as I said before, bracket reset. What on earth? Come on, TTV. 3-0 and against the world champs. I mean, TTV was like, okay, maybe that Gudra was a little out of pocket. Let's do a little something else. Let's stay goofy but not get gooey. And look at this. Three in a row against the team that sent them to the loser's bracket again with. We've got a reset, Spraggles. Grand Finals rolls on. Here we go. TTV taking it all the way to the reset right here. They've got something to prove. They're the only team to get a first place when they are in the money. And right now, they are evened up with LG. And now we are in the post-reset grand finals. One more three out of five set to decide who our regional champions will be for North America. Here's the draft. Is there going to be any sort of changes coming out from Luminosity? Surely, Luminosity. Luminosity has to go back to the drawing board at this point. You just lost a final in a 3-0 fashion to a team that you had a nigh-on perfect record against. TTV had some answers. They're going to be going with the Comfey band. Stolbar band away again. TTV baiting Luminosity into that Zoroark pick. All right, what will be that first pick? TTV's got some strong oh. options, but the Blissey one more time as the first pick of the match. Everything we know about draft has really been thrown out the window when TTV is involved. I wish every single match we could have a best of seven, best of nine, as these teams download each other every single competition. But Luminosity with the bounce back, grabbing Dodrio instead of the Zorark. Ooh. There's that answer. All of a sudden, Lutano is going to have to go to a new option. I love that choice. That is so cool. Of course, we know Overlord's so strong on that Dodrio as well. The Ozark has been unstoppable, but is it more valuable to be able to take away a pick from an opponent and, of course, have a slightly less powerful version of your best pick? Good question. I think yes. I think yes, absolutely. <laughs> the Dodrio spot, and Overlord has made that pick look so fantastic in the past as well. Lutano currently hovering over the Venusaur really was a start of the tournament storyline for them with how powerful they were on that play. And well, Celestial's gonna lock in the Buzzle, one of my favorite Pokemon, but honestly, it's one of my favorite players picking that one. Celestial has been looking amazing. Kyrios is gonna get the final option, and Chandelure oh. is finally here! Kyrios has made highlights after highlights on this Pokemon. The amount of special attack damage that Kyrios is gonna be able to do is unprecedented. TTV is gonna need to find an answer. They are, but of course, we have seen hero moments on every single member of TTV on every single one of these Pokemon over the course of this tournament, so they are for sure playing very comfortable. I love the Dodrio to take it away from Lutano. I love the Chandelure coming back, but in the end, we'll see if this change is enough to stop TTV's momentum. We are going to be going into a fresh set of a best of five for the Grand Finals. NAIC makes some noise, and Casters take it away. We're gonna see if they can solve the problem of Overlord on this Dodrio as we head in here to game number one of this grand finals reset. Yeah, I mean, you said they solved that problem in LG. What they've done and what they're going to try and do here is create a new one for TTV to have to solve in the way of using that Dodrio. Zugrug using Water Pulse again, Slash kind of on the retreat, half HP there. And then Celestial up here with Ender in their pocket is going to look to take over this lane early. Yeah, we can see Overlord right here just looking to get some stacks early, looking to get some secures on this wild Pokemon. Not able to make it happen right there. The Fell Stinger from Buzzwool and the big old mitts there from Blissey are really difficult to deal with. Looks like, uh, you know, TTV been leaning into that comfy band for LG, and then LG's been leaning into the Slowbro band back the other way. Uh, and it's worked out for TTV so far in the last three games, that's for certain. Yes, it has, absolutely. I think they have figured out something that Luminosity, I, a lot of teams have just not noticed how to take this team down, especially in this tournament right here. But it seems like TTV has figured it out. They've cracked the code as we get ready for these Swab Blue and Altaria. Big Wicked Blow actually misses slightly on Celestial right there. But the Drill Peck from Overlord pulls all the experience towards the side of Luminosity. Yeah, Rin really just jumping out and say, look at me, 
look at me, look at me, so that Overlord can get in and get a crop of that experience, pull those Swablu and Altair to their side of the map, and make sure that they are getting as big as possible. Nice little engage on Ender, who's still sitting at level 3. They need to bubble over to Blissey to start making impact and really be able to help Celestial out. You know, we've seen a lot of Overlord on the try attack Dodrio. Obviously, Drill Peck, an extremely powerful moveset as well. You can just see how it absolutely shreds through the HP bar of that Mew and that Blissey on the side of TTV. Nice heavy slam by, Sp by Slash to keep Zugrug from the pursuit on Rin. And then Overlord getting some experience. They're doing pretty good, but they haven't gotten many stacks in, Sprague. Yeah, not many stacks at all, but no points once again yet from TTV. As we can see, Kyrios here from Luminosity evolving into the Chandelure here in this central area as that is all secured by Luminosity. Good amount of damage going in on Rin there, forcing them to just kind of hang out in the middle without getting into a path too quickly. Buying, again, time. When in 10 minute game, every second you can leech from your opponent is invaluable because there are so many minor decisions and macro decisions that go into a successful game, to be quite honest. Yeah, as you can see, Slash in a little bit of trouble right here, actually getting pushed out by TTV. Celestial staying here in the top path with Ender as well. You can see Rin on this single strike. Oh! Picked up there. I honestly thought that was the Urshifu getting picked up for a second. I think that's what they were trying to pick up. Yeah. It ended up nabbing an Altaria for themselves. Um, these teams playing a little bit more reserved than we're used to seeing. Oh, yeah. This feels like a very, very reserved game. This feels like both of these teams don't want to make a mistake. I think Luminosity is trying to get refocused right here. And I think TTV probably doesn't want to get in over their head. They've been playing extremely well. They don't want to make mistakes. Yeah, and they're going to be able to go in. Right, well, Solar Beam comes through, but the Wicked Blow lands true as LG is able to take the first Reggie of the game. Uh, but nice little attempt by Otter. Yeah, and you can see right here, here comes Overlord trying to get a big KO on Lutano in this central area right here. And this is going to be something that Overlord's able to do with Dodrio. Dodrio can really isolate that Venusaur. I wasn't sure if we were going to see Venusaur brought into this game for that reason. Yeah, that's the big question. They need to get this spacing on Overlord so that they can't get to them. And now, just time being burned there and points are going in as Ender shows up. Egg Bomb, not going to try and do too much here. Really, again, just keep that goal zone standing as long as possible. But it looks like it's going to go down by 23 points, Michael Jordan. Nice start so far once again for Luminosity, up 103 to 0. It's so rare to see TTV not scoring points, but they aren't as they pick up another KO right here. This Dodrio might be the new problem that really takes TTV down. It's looking good in the early stages, despite uh, Overlord having issues getting their stacks early. They are harassing on the side of TTV. Finally, the rest of the TTV squad needs to show up and support Lutano. Venusaur is a key component to their strategy, but if Lutano can't get big, then it ain't going to work out. Overlord dodging that solar beam, no. dip diving across the bubbles, and they're going to be out. Meanwhile, while all that attention was taken, LG lets this Reggie Alecki hit, and they're going to be able to absolutely buckle another goal zone. Look at this here once again. TTV not scoring a single point. Somehow Overlord making it out. It looks like he was dancing through a laser grid in a spy movie or something <laughs> like that. I couldn't believe all those solar beams missed. Unbelievable stuff as TTV is down 0 to 205. And two goal zones gone, which means that home goal, goal zone is open. And TTV needs to find a way back into this thing. I'm taking a look at the levels. They are a little bit behind, which is different than what we saw in the previous set, where the score lead was ridiculous, but TTV kind of felt in it. Yeah, this feels like a very different game for Luminosity right here. Obviously, we saw TTV in a somewhat similar position, so I don't want to count them out right now. But they are in a tough tough spot behind on levels behind on points behind on positional advantage losing every single team fight that's almost all the things dude snacks it is almost all the things indeed the next thing that they might lose is this red ice because lg is all around it zagrug's hanging out trying to find somebody with the bubble beam they'll try and make a play here and if they can that's just a, a icing on the cake but ultimately it turns into a red ice for luminosity and some ko's might start happening they're looking to push overlords charging forward they're spacing out the rest of the team ender split from the rest of the squad Overlord finally gets Otter and Ender's pressured out. Sitting on top of the goal zone is Lutano. Slash is taking tons of damage, but they're committed to getting this KO. Overlord's going to try and make it out. Zagrok with the support. Solar Beam comes through. Overlord dodges it with a boosted auto, and they make it out again. 
somehow Luminosity does not get KO'd in any of that. Luminosity just continuing their domination of this match. TTV finally able to score in the top path. Luminosity wasn't even there <laughs> at this point. This is looking really rough for TTV in game one of our grand finals reset. Can TTV just beat Luminosity? 3-0. So I think everyone out there watching has some hope right now, but you're just watching Luminosity dominate this match. Well, I, they, they've certainly got their fair share of hopium there, and LG's taking that offense because they are looking like a completely different team. A couple good KOs that they were able to pick up uh, in the last three minutes of this one, but Curios is there, you know, uh, you know like a bug to a, to a candle, absolutely burned up. Yeah, really great stuff once again for Luminosity. We picked up a couple of KOs for the side of TTV. We can see the levels starting to tick up. We definitely want to be a higher level Venusaur right here. There's a huge break point for Venusaur at level 13. Those solar beams will come really, really fast. Uh, the cooldown is just incredible if they are able to get it. If not, they're going to be behind quite a bit at this ending fight as level 13 for Urshifu and Chandelure on the other side. The two defenders scrapping it out in the bottom path and TTV is trying to put some pressure on this Reggie Alecki a little bit. It is much more valuable to LG and TTV knows that Overlord somehow gets to the back line but can't collapse on Lutano. Lutano's kind of caught against the wall here. They might be able to close down on it, but look at this. Otter sealing it up, so it's going to fly in the face of uh, LG but I don't think they particularly care. And we've got, guess what, Rayquaza 15 seconds away. That's a very late Cotton Crash. 15 seconds away, extremely late Cotton Crash. Massive drill peck into a Unite move. This could be the Ray fight starting right here as we see a Unite move come out from the first Nagu, Nagu, double Nagu shuffle down. beam, double KO. That was massive. They took the fight. Overlord got in deep and they flipped the script on him immediately. TTV looking for another one. Slash get picked up, put down. And this is going to be another KO. Can the Solar Beam come in? Can Otter chase it down? They're going to try. I'm looking at the rest of the map. Overlord's caught in the middle. It is a Solar Beam, but not from Venusaur as they are going to double this thing up. Otter chips into Rayquaza. We're trying to find another opportunity. Oh, there's two players down for LG Stare, but they're coming off respawn. Rin trying to find their way in. TTV focusing on that big mythical Pokemon in the middle. And here we go. Big Buzz will unite here in the middle right here. Nice big wicked blow onto the Mew. Mew's up in the air, and it is down. Celestial is now taking a ton of damage from the Chandelure. Jumping on in and getting KO'd right there. Chandelure moving forward. Two members of TTV down as we have Ender in this bottom path trying to heal Lutano, but Zugrug's in a lot of trouble. Overlord making it out. Curious is low on HP. They're putting the pressure on Zugrug. Heavy Slam pops them up. LG, excuse me, Ren be able to close it out. They dart through. They do, but look at that low HP, and they're caught on the backside. Curios throwing some flames to buy some space. More points going in for LG. Overlord was not knocked out. They're on a sliver of health. They made it back. They got some points in. TTV needs to get on top of this Rayquaza right now. Put it on that pedestal, TTV, and get in there. Otter's trying to find an opportunity. They're closing the gap, but now they've got to just flip this, absolutely flip this thing. That's their only option left. LG knows it, and they're getting into the middle. They're going for the follow-up. Overlord's all over Ender. They're chasing down Lutano. Close down the Solar Beam. Chips him up with the Unite move and comes back into the middle. is still at 10%. It's getting smothered down. Three players down for TTV. LG's got this thing in the bag, I think. No! TTV secures it. gets it, but they don't have enough players with shields. They only got two, and Ender's not even going to get their points, and Spraggles I'm out of breath. Take it! Wow, what a fight from Luminosity here as they sew up game number one. TTV turning around, trying to get that secure on Rayquaza, and they do, but there are not enough of them up. Too many of them are KO'd, and Luminosity takes a convincing game one. They figured out the Zorark, but now they need to figure out the Dodrio, as this is a different look from Luminosity here in game number one. We'll see if there is a big shift overall. I doubt that we're going to see the Dodrio ban. Of course, that's going to be highly valued on both sides. Right. It seems like CTV is more just going for answers, both sides actually, rather than bans. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're getting into the counter pick ban strategy part of our matchup. And well, Luminosity Gaming having that first selection, they are going to be banning away the Comfe. TTV do not want to give first pick Slowbro over to the side of Luminosity. <laughs> Full, fully understandable. That slow road has been basically the band the entire way through uh, for this grand finals. We have just seen none of it. But once again, we are going to see the first pick Blissey, but this time for Luminosity. Wow, and now TTV actually hovering over the Urshifu, a Pokemon they've been going into their second draft phase if it's available most commonly, but Celeste is going to be picking that one up. We're going to see something new from Rin for sure, but let's see what Overlord wants to select at the same time. 
This would be interesting. We've... Okay, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I feel like that. You kind of got to have value this highly here. Yeah. And they are once again going to be stealing away that Dodrio. And on top of that, the Mew also being taken away from Otter. So two of potentially the strongest picks that we've seen from TTB now on the other side. Trying to grab some of the things that they have been by far the most successful with. I also really like this. Leaving Lutano's choice till the very end of the draft because of how powerful that Dodrio matchup was against Venusaur. I mean, a complete I agree with Spragles. I don't like that pick into the Dodrio. Luminosity, though, going to grab the Chandelure and the Hoopa yet again. So double support on the side of Luminosity. Blissey going to be a bit more of that pseudo defender. And TTV making their choice. Going back to the Venusaur. I'm seeing a lot of people shaking their head wanting that Blastoise. But no, it is going to be the Venusaur. Solar Beam back on the menu. All right, very interesting just based on what we saw to go with this somewhat similar pick for Lutano. Of course, Lutano has one of the widest character varieties that you could possibly have. Can go to just so many different Pokemon, but the Venusaur has been kind of the hero play Pokemon for him over the course of this weekend. We'll see if it works out this time. There's going to be a Solar Beam on the other side as well. So it's going to be Beam versus Beam very potentially. And now we'll see if there's an answer for this Dodrio this time around for TTV. Yeah, this time uh, having a Solar Beam secure and a Wicked Blow secure for Celestial is very, very powerful. However, the team fight capability of Luminosity is incredibly strong. Well, we are going to be headed into game number two of our Grand Finals reset. Casters, take it away. Here we go. We're going to get a seek in game two, how they switch that up. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they do right here. As we do have some differences, obviously, they were able to get that Urshifu on the side of TTV. They've got themselves uh, an Espeon as well, which is a little different. And you see a lot of teams play the stored power Espeon into Dodrio, so they might think that is enough of a counter to deal with this here. Absolutely. I do like LG taking away Otter's Mew as well. Curios has played incredibly well on that character, so putting it in their hands is kind of one of those take it away and give us a, a nice uh, thing to use during the match. And here we go in that top path. Overlord was trying to score right there. They stopped them as we continue to see experience going back and forth here in this bottom path. Blissey has evolved, so a little more has been secured on the side of Luminosity. They head right into that tall grass to see if they can get in the face of TTV. Overlord level four looking for an opportunity. Darts in trying to get that wild Pokemon for themselves. That Vine Whip slowing them down. The follow-up comes with that little seed, and it's a quick KO. Well, early on, clearly this Eldegoss has been very helpful against this Dodrio right now. You know, the red buff on that Eldegoss slowing them up considerably right there. Lucky time to evolve, I gotta say, because otherwise they would have eaten an entire overheat from that Chandelure. Yeah, and Rin's playing very far forward, lacing in some damage while LG has four players committed to this top path, leaving poor Slash the off tank in that Blissey, which is a supporter, but playing more of the tank role in this one, babysitting that bottom goal zone alone. And you can see Rin just continuing to shell damage over to the side of TTV. Celestial going for that single strike for Shifu, better for securing objectives and big KOs, but it obviously cannot fight the same way that the rapid strike. Yeah, Rin is actually just laying in those overheats for spacing, right? Because they know once Celestial gets close, that wicked blow will absolutely shatter that lamp. So instead, you just make sure they can't get to you. And Elo, of course, sticking around in support. They've still got Astonished to stun if they do go for an engagement. We've got Dodrio here in this this bottom path. It looks like Duke's next coming right around, seeing if they can get a KO. We do not have a sword power from this Espeon. It is a Psy Shock Espeon with the long range and the huge stun. A well-timed engagement by Overlord. Overlord there waiting for Celestial to use that wiggle. Ooh, quick KO. Quick KO for the for Otter the Espeon there and a good little look. But I was gonna say it was perfectly timed. Overlord waiting for that wicked blow to be used by Celestial and then goes in to try and pick up a KO. It didn't quite convert, but you can really see the type of timing and things that they're thinking about when they go for those engagements. Here we go. Nice big secure there. It looked like actually on the side of Luminosity. I wasn't sure if it was the Mew or maybe just the Blissey with that big secure. We had it for this top path right here. Nice big drill peck. Not able to take Ender down, however. You can tell that these teams are starting to figure each other out and you're grinding to a halt because there has not been a single point put in and we know there's Pokemon stacking in this game, which means they are playing and reading each other very well right now. We can see Luminosity has that Dodrio from Overlord in the central area of TTV and it looks like it actually bullied out Lutano from TTV. Almost a level eight right now, so it does have both of its moves as we head down to the bottom path here. 
Oh, well, Red Dice at half, and it's Zugrug there again just to try and make a play for the squad as the commitment is somewhere else. Otter comes in, actually ejects in to try and use that big ability, that secure ability that they have, but can't quite get there in time. Meanwhile, we got Ender getting a KO on Overlord themselves. Yeah, and they couldn't get there in time. However, it was Zugrug somehow, the solo Lapras, who was able to secure that. That is wild. And that's why, that's why they send them there, to just hang out and see what they can do. Otter pulled up, couldn't quite close the door on it, but Zagar's like, nah, I got it, I got it, I yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, just, I'll give it a shot, guys. Just me against the whole team down here. I'll see what I can do. Nah, I don't need to secure. I can do it myself. Nice bit, Unite, move on to Overlord. Overlord's getting extremely low right here. That red buff onto Ender, slowing them down, making sure they can't charge that Sprinkings. They don't even need the Solar Beam, Lutano. They take him down. The support gets the KO, the best way to support. Big chaos. Yeah, best defense, good offense, and in that case, that was really facilitated by Otter. Great catch with their Unite move, and then, of course, the uh, Eldegoss there to slow them down in a conversion. TTV is moving on the right axis. They're starting to figure out how do we need to play into this Dodrio, and they're getting a couple good quality KOs on top of Overlord. One thing that we're seeing here is a nice big Unite move into oh. Elo. Elo goes down right here. Here comes the Unite move from Venusaur as they're pushing onto this goal zone, picking up some KOs. Finally, some points are going to get on the board here. Curios has to surf to try and get away but the damage is done ttv finally getting some points in and they hit that perfect 100. yeah 100 points for ttv it's very different from the last game because it had it didn't have the one or the other zero that's zero you remember the zero I, I do indeed, and there we go. We see the maneuverability and mobility of Dodrio uh, able to get out as Zugrug was very close to taking a 1v1 KO on top of Overlord as the Lapras. Nice follow-up, good Egg Bomb to try and slow that, but guess what? They used the Unite move to get out of dodge. Lapras used the Unite move to get out, but it looks like they might be coming back in right now, just kind of <laughs> doing a fun little circle right here. That's showing off. Here we come. Big wave, seeing if it can crash into anybody, and no, they are not able to find a target right there. As we have one second until Reggie hits this bottom, uh, this basement Reggie spawns here in the bottom half. Elo pulls everybody through with the rings unbound, but there's two players down for LG. They're not even here. Two KOs drink a two on the back side of the map as Lutano is just doing work off screen. Slash is trying to bubble it out with a couple egg bombs to make sure that they've got the space and that Overlord wants. Can they get in there? The Wicked Blow is charged up, and it's Overlord that actually picks it up for the Wicked Blow can hit. Bliss Assistance on top of Overlord, and they're looking for KOs. They got two. Can they get a third? Zugrug's trying to stand strong, but they don't have enough in them. Three heads better than one, as it turns out, as Overlord's looking for another opportunity. Nice little surf by Cure. Oh, that's a big Unite back the other way for Otter. They catch two, and they're able to get out. Somehow the Venusaur Unite flies in, but does not pick up a KO. As we have the Solar Beam coming out, here comes the nice Unite move onto the Chandelure. Rin goes down for the side of Luminosity as they're continuing to push onto this goal zone. I don't know if there's much they can do. And here comes another Drill Peck from Overlord. Overlord known to continue to push their advantage. He might continue this fight. It looks like he does, grabbing Ender with this Drill Peck. Ender's in some trouble right here. The Solar Beam misses. Ender's HP is very low as he is continuing this push into the central area, picks up another KO, and now he's looking for another one on Ender said, if you're coming in here, I'm going to take it. He might take another one on the Espeon as well. And he does. Can anyone stop Overlord? I mean, Dodrio looks like a wood chipper, and TTV is wood to be chopped up, my friend, because Overlord was hanging out. They were not hiding. They were ready for it. And TTV was just lobbing themselves in there. Great pickup of a KO by Overlord, and they are almost level 13. Yeah. Excuse oh. me, 12. 13. Well, they are 13. I can read numbers. Where are our numbers, guys? Yeah, I mean, we need our numbers, guys. When we look at the difference between 12 and 13 over here. Come on, production. Don't leave us out to dry like that, guys. And here we have it. This bird goes down. Reggie Alecki is getting ready to be taken here by Luminosity. No one from TTV is here as they are focusing their efforts on this bottom goal zone, this Reggie Alecki leashes, but they are going to be able to take it of course in time as points are going into this bottom goal zone for TTV. That is a Unite. I, I guess they'll have it back in time. It's very late. Big time question we're looking at right now. Three Unites on LG's side. We have four on the side of TTV, but LG is going to pivot down and get some space. They want this basement Reggie, it looks like. And Overlord kind of made a, a bait to see if they could rip it. Get full Celestial in. And we, uh, we sludge, sludge bombing out here for Lutano. Yeah, Lutano did switch off of that Giga Drain here. I think they're thinking that maybe the Sludge Bomb can help them get some big secures with Otter as well. And at the same time, possibly create zones where Overlord cannot play. We let the Reggie Alecki walk in top. We're going to have to see. No, he 
could have waited a second there to get a bigger overcap, but he does leave the tier two goal zone there. As this Rayquaza is being chipped up right away by TTV. TTV putting it on a pedestal. We see Elo trying to stun him down. They're getting the middle. Rayquaza at 20%. Where's the ball? Take it. Wicked blow. Wicked blow. Deal. The TTV makes the magic happen. They're collapsing here, but they can they move a stand? The lamp goes down in course short order. Dodrio's on the chase. Overlord's trying to shred some shields. Lapras is going up top. Zugrug is untouched. Meanwhile, he got Celestial downstairs on Do Burger for them. Bang. Overlord is dealing with Ender, but it doesn't matter because the Lapras is getting their points in the hard way. Fraggles, can they stop them? Can they? Overlord keeps them from going in. We got 100 back the other way, and we got 80 going into the middle. Can they get the stop? The Soul Beam comes through. Elo doesn't get it. Ender trying to score in the middle. 309 to 270. Spraggles, they're going to get a KO on Ender, but there's going to be an opportunity to push back. Wow, Zugrug not able to score right there. A beautiful stop from Overlord while TTV is slightly ahead on points. I do believe they have one or two shields. I couldn't see if one was also on Venusaur right now, but they have a tier one goal zone in this bottom path. This is not good for TTV. This is an easy goal zone to score on. Five members of Luminosity. He's circling it like a shark right now as they are coming in to score. And if they do, they will take TTV down. Big time reset. I'm looking for the United Moves. The candle has theirs. They're looking for an opportunity. Can they get a KO? They need a pick. Nobody's down yet. The defense is starting. Can we get an opportunity here? Zombie comes through. Ring goes down. Ring goes down. We got an SB on United back. One player down. And TTV's going for the counter punch. 306 to 309. Dodrio Three, just went center. Oh, my God. 358 to 309 as TTV's running to score. They do have a Rayquaza shield, but they need to make it happen quick. Who's holding? They, they gotta get in there. They're gonna do the express right in, but Celestial gets it broken by the flying fist to Elo. They're gonna try and get in. They Lutano need to score to the top. Are you kidding me? 395 to 384. The stop continues. FBO goes in. TTV's in the lead. Nobody scored for Luminosity, and TTV balances this thing up. Somehow TTV takes it. The sneaky score from the Venusaur in the top path. TTV evening it up here in game number two. Absolutely a flurry of scores back the other way. And sometimes the magic that's happening isn't what's on screen. We've got you looking in one direction. Let's see the other. Holy smokes, TTV going to be taking that game. Two. Uh, Luminosity building a very, very good team fighting composition, but unfortunately, it started a team fight when all TTV is just paying attention to one specific thing. No pink Pokemon, please. We're gonna go with a Blissey <laughs> and a Slowbro ban on either side. This is like a challenge that like a streamer would do. Like, oh, we're only playing not pink Pokemon today, but honestly, we've seen so many first pick Blisseys over yes. the course of this set that it's like, okay, maybe we just get rid of it and stop letting people get it. But the interesting thing is that TTV could have potentially been in that situation they have the first pick, but I don't think they want to be forced to do that. Hey, there's an everyone support they're going to first pick. Once again, I don't really understand the draft priority at this point. This is so inter-player, inter-team yes. that it's all genius. Yeah, having Overlord with the Comfe is just too powerful. We're going to have TTV grabbing that one. That priority is too important. Otherwise, you can only pick one of those two speedsters, so Overlord's going to get one of those options. Lapras Mew going to be backing up the side of TTV, a very fast draft. These teams are confident. They know what they're going with. I like the Snorlax from Slash. I think that was some of their best performances in the Grand Final so far in their Snorlax game from game number one. Oh, well now, you know, we saw a steal of the speedster from LG, but TTV said, hey, we can play your best speedster as well. How about we try that trade on for size <laughs> as we're going to see the Zoroark go to TTV this time around. And it's going to have, of course, Ender on that Comfe to make it that much more deadly. So many 1v1s to look forward to, but honestly, the one that is catching my attention is going to be Otter versus Curios, Mew versus Chandelure. The amount of damage at the end of the game is going to be very interesting to see, but both these Pokemon running the exact same held items and battle item, these special attack damage dealers can be so impactful on our matches. That's right, and the, I think my last thing I want to point out here is that Urshifu has been a huge deciding factor in every single game so far, yes. and it's going back to the side of Luminosity this time, so we'll see if Urshifu keeps this 100% win rate in this post-reset set as we get right into game number three. Both of these teams are looking to become our champions today. Both of these teams want to be known as the best team in North America, and both of these teams want the lion's share of that $50,000 prize pool. I'm wondering if this Comfey pick will do it. But once again, TTV really seems to have this draft figured out at this point.
Yeah, they, they, they've leveled up in their strategy here. They're getting great, great picks. They understand what they want to do, and they're winning games. And that's ultimately all that matters here is Fraggles, of course, as Overlord is desperately trying to get their stacks in. They actually get slow smoked and are able to just use that boosted auto attack for that spacing to get out. Yeah, able to get out right there, which is great. They did jump on in and steal some experience from the side of TTV, so that's awesome as well. They now have 10 points. They're going to look to score once again. They do need those stacks in that top path right there, slashing a little bit of trouble, eating a big old boosted attack from Mew. Able to post that wild Pokemon from the side of TTV, though, which is a good little win with that tackle, so good look there. LG peels back, and we've got an absolute slaughter on the scoreboard, 8-0. to zero. Yeah, here we go, 8-0. to zero. You can't come back from that, they say, <laughs> as we have the Altaria Swablu up here in this top path. We have Zora coming on here to pick up a big KO. They hit their combo, they move in, but here comes the drill pack, pushing them right back. Comfe goes down. Really prioritizing the experience. Comfe is collateral damage, and TTV got the player that they were targeting down and actually able to get that KO before the Wicked Blow was even used to scathe that Zora. Here we go in our top path. Looking to see if we can pick up another one. Really nice drill peck right there. And the question is, are they going to continue moving in with this fight? And they do. They've got that comfy collar. They know that it can save them. Give them big shields and big heals. Big shields and big heals is a good place to be if you're looking to be a carry. Overlord's just trying to scramble out as they are getting chunked and hit. And finally, they get a KO. No escaping that one. Good engagement there by Celestia with the comfy follow-up. Is there anybody else that wants any of that action? Rin thought about it for a second and then comes back. Look at that move out of Zorark Spraggles. Incredible stuff here from TTV at the start of this. I think Luminosity is starting to realize, is this what we've been doing to people with this Pokemon? So incredibly mean. This is so mean. So, so mean. That's why they ban it all the time. It's so mean. And here we go. We see Curios in this bottom path. They have the overheat, not yet level seven. They have not evolved into Chandelure, as it looks like we're trying to get another KO right here, possibly onto Overlord. Peeling out, actually, of the central area up to the top path right now. Both teams having this moment of a little calm before the storm as possibly here comes the storm heavy slam gonna try and get space points do go in for overlord so that's another stack for them zugrug is remaining relentless with that lapper trying to push forward celestial is there for the support and of course they're able to peel back here but it looks like ttv is willing to put some good pressure on before this basement reg here we go they are just continuing to rack up experience right now for the side of ttv up here in this top path you can see they have left rin alone from luminosity lutano in some trouble right now overlord coming on in here trying to get a big ko we switch back to the giga drain overlord living on can you see that is there anything there there was nothing there that line was completely black are you kidding me red rock on half hp we coming in the wicked blow is going to line up can they get it just in time bang sealed up by luminosity rin does not miss making it happen here but celestial's willing to go in with that solar beam follow-up by otter tons of damage was put out and elos get caught from the long range the ivy sword solar beam getting it done slashes on the chase now celestial is going to buckle them two players down for lg let's see if they can get on top of this gold zone zagrug has very low hp wicked blow has the range with the eject button to get that ko but that just baited out rim they're low on hp and they just can't quite get there can't quite get the combo nice unite move coming in from overlord as they're looking to pick up a ko but no they do not right here we're also seeing a different look from this comfy on the side of TTV no longer running this grass knot I think grass knot was set up perfectly well with their Dodrio but because Zorark just bounces around so much it'll be so difficult to land they're going with a magical leaf which will let you get the stuns also find Pokemon in sort of this tall grass if they're hiding it's a very very easy move to use especially when the Pokemon that you are on is moving a million miles an hour exactly and you can get all those ticks line up on your opposition there that was a very fast KO on Curios who's trying to get a cheeky berry for themselves and could sort that out. Meanwhile, TTV is over this goal zone. They'd really like to buckle this thing with the 40, but they'll take the 22-point overcap. Is that Verdant Anger was unleashed just to make sure they had the space. Yeah, they just wanted to make sure they had the space to score right there. And you know, sometimes it's fun just to throw a Unite move. <laughs> I, that's what I do. Yeah, you just throw out something. You know what? Who cares? Looks pretty. Two minutes, nine seconds on the clock. No one around me. I'm unleashing that thing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> as this Regilecki walks towards this top path. Don't take strategy advice from Doob Snacks or myself. No, just watch the screen and take advice from these players live in action here. Slash is taking a ton of damage, but that opens up Overlord to get into the engage. Great comb for Unite, and that's a Chandelure Unite back the other way. Can they convert on some KOs? Everybody's so low. Finally, this is the lamp from LG 
goes down. Two players down back for TTV the other way, though. And is this a positive exchange for LG? You'd have to think yes. I would say so. You know, TTV having to deal with this in the top path. However, Mew now picks up a KO on the Snorlax as well as we're pushing Zugrug around with this drill back to level 12. Dodrio coming on in here, picking up another KO. And this is the Dodrio that they had to worry about a few games ago, and it's looking amazing here in game number three. I mean, that Dodrio looking like a skater boy. I'll see you later, boy. That Lapras got buckled. That Bubble Beam had no shot. Here we go, Overlord trying to get away from this situation that, you know what, to be fair, they created. They're always the one diving into the central area of their opponents in here. Why do they have to always go and make things so complicated? Well, <laughs> Jesus. Nice KO by the Venusaur on uh, on Rin there. The follow-up is on top of Slash, and now they're going for this cold zone. I can't recover from that one. Please say something. And here we go as they jump towards this top path. Leader. Another huge drill back into three members of TTV. One of them wearing a comb fake collar. Here comes the Unite from Zorak, trying to just stay inside this fight or just trying to escape. Mew just trying to zone them out a little bit as another member of TTV. The Lapras goes down right here. Slash pushing towards this top goal He's got three points Just giving it a little yawn and leaving i'm liking this heavy slam yawn combination when they get the catch using the unite move right in the middle of the map on the left hand side of your screen there force that the new unite they're caught in the shadows and they get engaged on there's not enough to hide them just yet solar beam's gonna try and get curious to keep from scoring and they do lg's forced to retreat and we have the lapras is kind of leveraging their unite we've seen what they could do slash is so low a nice little yawn gonna put lapras down for just a moment and now lapras has to focus their attention using their night moves splashing up on the elder gods but zorak goes down back the other way heavy slam on lutano great engagement we've got the drill pack we've got the auto attack and we've got a ko as lg takes the regieleki once again i mean this Dodrio from Overlord right here is just running an absolute riot on this team right now, picking up every single KO at once. The points rain into this top goal zone. That goal zone is gone. Luminosity is up now by over 100 points. They're looking incredible level-wise as well. They are dominating all of these fights, and TTV is in some trouble because we only got 40 seconds until Ray Quaza, and that's a level 15 Dodrio. I'm well aware of that number. That's the highest in Pokemon Unite. That is the highest level you can attain. You are correct to Spraggles. Now, what's important is that Overlord absolutely under no circumstance gets caught right here. They need to play safe. They've got their superpower right now, and it's Overlord on level 15. Just do not let it fall in, the, in your face. Here we go. Massive solar beams here from Lutano. He's continuing this push right here. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, so close to catching multiple members of Luminosity. Somehow Chandelure making it out on zero HP right now. As no way if Overlord goes down right here. That's huge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A 33 second KO timer. This is TTV's chance. This is TTV's chance. LG still has four players. The world ones go up. Rayquaza at half HP. Big Wicked Blow comes through and they're about to get KO'd by Mew. Nice follow up by Otter. Two players down. It's the biggest damage dealers. Celestial's looking in and Rayquaza's getting chunked. What is going on? We got a little bird and anger action. We got a solar beam coming through. And we got TTV <laughs> taking a Ray Quaza. This is the Ender Show now. What's a dinosaur to a ring of flowers, baby? Give us that Ray Quaza and give us our points. Oh, my goodness. The points right in. This match is still incredibly close. 520 to 397. But Luminosity devastated in that fight. Dodrio goes down. Somehow, Kofe with the secure on the side of TTV as they they take Rayquaza, they're up on the scoreboard, but there is time on the clock. However, we still have a Rayquaza shield, I believe on multiple members of TTV, at least that Zorark, Venusaur, and Comfey. I mean, that is too many players to have a shield, quite honest. LG needs to make a push, and just a couple of them need to stand. We're taking a look. They actually have to leave Rin back to try and defend some gold guns and break shields as well. We just have Solar Beams coming through. Purus is going to score a heavy slam. We need a big time Yano. We need the scores to go in. Zorark follow-up is going to go for Two players down, make it three. Oh, come on, baby. Dinosaur's looking for one. Slash is there, and they eat a big time Electro Ball. That's a weather storm out there between the Solar Beams and that. And they are dunking more points in TTV. What? One game away! Here we go, 696, 397, TTV taking game number three Jeez. right here. Incredible stuff, Ender doing a dance, and I, I don't think Luminosity likes it. Hey, no. hey, you, you, I don't like your confet. No way, no way, I think we need to ban it. <laughs> yes.
Yeah, they need to do something. I, every time TTB, every time LG makes a switch, TTB adjusts in game and makes it happen. LG getting their face rubbed in it a little bit with that comfy spin by Ender, and I, that's a way to get motivated. And if I'm LG, you gotta find something. Only Luminosity Gaming is going to have a ban in this match. Interesting. Well, uh, we will see what this individual ban is, but going into this, no bans. I mean, there have been a pretty big flex of the Pokemon side. It really chosen on both sides. And currently we can see that the Slowbro is the pick, the singular ban of the game. I guess we could just pretend in our minds that this is like a double Slowbro ban and how would you play in that situation? Uh, but that is going to give the first option overall to Luminosity. Are they gonna value that Nedrio extremely highly again? Are they gonna be going for one of their other, yeah, first picks like the Blissey that we saw before? And that's gonna be a big difference being banned out. Yeah. And just one more clarification. It was a request from the admins for TTV that did not uh, respond to it. So it is going to be the punishment laid out. Well, let's see what their double pick is on the other side. Hovering the Comfey as that first pick. The second option actually going over towards Zugrug for the Lapras. Not grabbing that view in that first rotation. Potentially, we could see that Pokemon on Furios. They wanted to aim for it now. But I mean, Zorok's available, Dodrio's available, and so is that Urshifu. Well, I feel like you have to pick a Dodrio at this point. There's no way you lift that go over to that strategy that they've used with Lutano on it. And yes, exactly like you said, the Mew. Uh, when you can have a, a Pokemon that you can use as well as the other team and you really want to take it away from them, that's the highest value that we get. We see that with both of the picks and their second pick of the game. Wow, Celestial very confident in that Zorark is going to be going after it again, even when that means you're giving Urshifu over to Luminosity Gaming. So Celestial going to take that Zorark. Otter on that Espeon again, not quite the Mew, but still a lot of impact on that Pokemon. Oh, and oh, so strange to see the final pick, Urshifu. The draft has turned all the way upside down from what we'd expect in this set. But again, potentially the final set of the tournament. Tournament point for TTV. And now their Ooh. final pick is Lutano locking into that Gardevoir. A lot of confidence from everybody here as they've been through a lot to make it to this point. A Gardevoir selection into Overlord's Dotrio on tournament match point. Lutano is definitely feeling confident about heading into this map here in Grand Finals. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so hard to avoid that. There's, I mean, not a huge front line altogether on the side of TTV. There's not giving you a lot of protection for any of this back line. I'm excited to see which moveset we end up seeing picked from the Espeon overall. That could be their option, again, against Dotrio, but we'll have to see. Well, TTV are on match on tournament point. LG with their backs against the wall. Who better to take us through it than Spraggles and Deuce Max? They are flipping that script and they're taking it for themselves. And here we go, headed up to this top path right here. We have Overlord and Elo. Now, obviously, Blissey on the side of Luminosity right there. I think TTV is not happy to see that, but TTV did disobey a request from the onstage admin and they lost their ban in this game. However, their first two picks still going over to Comfey and Lapras. They also have a Zorark. Both of these teams look absolutely stacked. Absolutely. A lot of great Pokemon on both sides of the map here and a lot of uh, Pokemon that these teams have seen success with. So despite that slight disadvantage here that for the TTV ban, it looks like they've got a real opportunity to still come away with the win. And here we go. Overlord looking to get a nice secure right there. Already scoring in that top path. We also have Slash evolving here in this bottom path. Things are going pretty well. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say things are going pretty well for Luminosity. Almost oh! going to go, and they do. Who else but to kick off the K opener but Ender on the Comfey. It's kind of been their pick in this match against LG, and it's looked good. Rin might get a KO. They engage on the Curly. A Curly is trying to make it out. Celestial cuts it off. They're all over the Swablu and Altari. They get most of that, but now it's an LG push. They're going to see if they can catch somebody. Comfy hops on. Curly appeals back, and it looks like TTV survives another day. You know, Lutano's spacing with all these special attackers is so impressive. They're somehow able to get away from these Pokemon with insane amounts of dive. Pokemon that normally would jump in and get all of these KOs, and somehow Lutano, so heads up, great with the eject buttons, able to make it away from many of these moments. Obviously, that water bear, you know, from Luminosity, Rin, he is really there to dive in and KO Lutano and to KO Otter. Which means the secure job goes over to Curios for this game, and we've seen them do a great, uh, great job with that this
this weekend as well. No exceptions. Curios moving to the middle for these eight minutes. Swablu and Alteria. Here comes Celestial to engage. Curios are trying to electro ball in, deal some damage, take one for themselves. But really, most of that went to Celestial and in. And now we're watching this Zoroark with a Comfit Collar, and it's such a difficult thing to deal with. Chasing down a possible KO and Overlord, but they grab those berries and they are still healthy. Elo coming back in. They actually might be in a lot of trouble right here as we do pick up a KO. They snatch them right away before they can pour it out. And there we go. The rest of LG is forced to rotate up and try and deal with Lutano, Celestial, and Ender. The pressure they're putting on is monumental as they get some points in that goal zone and LG actually scrambles back. Here we go, down to this bottom path. We have 25 seconds now until the Reggies hit the top and bottom path here. Ren just being pushed back a little bit, trying to pick up a KO with those nice shy shocks. And then also, you know, the Lapras right there just being a huge, huge deterrent for that. One thing that I was thinking just watching these two teams do snacks is how proud I am to have both of them representing NA going to Worlds because these teams are absolutely unbelievable. They really, really are. LG sees the Zugrug's opportunity who used the Ice Beam, didn't quite hit anybody. Now Ren is going straight to this Regis deal. TTB is showing up. We saw Augur and Zugrug make some magic happen last time. They're actually committing to getting Celestial in there. A little Phantom Force to get out of dodge. Elo dips, dives, and gets tries to get away. We're getting the coverage here. Can they catch the port? Reset Celestial's gonna keep that from happening. They actually use the Unite move, but it's a hair too late. Elo pops back through. Now the pressure is on. Rin is getting so low. Otter wants that KO. Can they find it? That's the big time question. Here we go. Rin grabbing a berry right here. And then, of course, this build from Urshifu just able to recover a ton of HP. Registeel actually leashing right there and recovering a lot of health. I think Luminosity would have got it had that not happened. We're looking for the combo. And no, it is secured by Overlord on the Dodrio. Moving in for another KO. Possibly picking it up. And it's Curios who gets. It's that Overlord getting KO'd back the other way as TTV is running towards their tier one, getting pushed back. Otter with a huge unite there and an awesome follow up by Zug and Ender to make sure that they get two KOs. They don't overextend their welcome or push into the face of LG. Here we go. Almost the six minute mark right now. 30 points to 41. This game is so incredibly close level wise, point wise, skill wise. And it's so incredibly close to being over if TTV can win this one. Otter in some trouble right here. Nice big Unite move. Dodrio's looking for the KO. Can he find it? Might find two right now. Zora coming in trying to pick up a kill, but there's the Bliss Assistance. Bliss Assistance just in time. Rin uses their Unite as well, gets a KO. And now Zugro, there's too much firepower. They just rack up the hits. We get up to 17 and they actually take the bubble beam. I said, uh, I said ice beam earlier, but it's the bubble beam that's able to keep Rin from continuing that engagement. And then Elo getting a KO on Lutana. Yeah, sneaking up through that hyperspace highway, just picking up a KO after clearly Kyrgios is doing a lot of work up there in the top path. Right now, Luminosity dominating this match 190 to 41. And they're just picking up every big KO they can find. Nice double KO here from Zugrug, throwing it right back in the face of Luminosity. Yeah, they're going through, moving forward, trying to get into the face of this LG squad. Elo uses the rings unbound. They get a quick stun. It's, uh, the Ender's on top of Zugrug. They're peeling back. That's going to be a tough, tanky Pokemon to take down. But the Fists are actually catching Otter, who's very low. Can they close the gap to keep this push on? No, it doesn't quite look like it's Sprague. Yeah, nice job there from TTV, able to get out. Beautiful Psy Shock to get the stun. They're able to pull back. Obviously, the Comfey can heal as well. And now we still have this Regilecki in the top path. It would be more advantageous for Luminosity to grab it send it towards TTV. And of course, TTV doesn't want to deal with it either as we have a Reggie spawning in this bottom path in five seconds. And Luminosity has a Hoopa able to bring their whole team down. Reggie Alecki moving towards TTV despite the fairy singularity on top of it. Nobody kind of plays ball. Rin's going to get caught out here. No, look at that dash out of dodge. And the Celestial keeps putting the pressure on Solar Beam from uh, uh, Curios. Comes back the other way. Comfy Unite right on top of the goal zone. Can they convert this into some points? Doesn't really look like it. Espeon picks up a couple minutes. Now, TTV still getting pushed back. Bliss assist on top of Overlord, and they're going to keep pushing as well. As Rin uses their Unite move in tandem, and they want Otter. They are 10 hits. Can they keep racking them up? They get them the normal way. Zugrug is now trying to peel out. Celestial needs to come in for the save. We've got the hyperspace hole open. We catch a quick reset, and Kyrios is still in the mix. Zugrug eating an Electro Ball follow-up Egg Bomb. Big boosted Otto, and they're going to get out. Wow, what an insane fight going back and forth. But what Rin now going down as Celestial comes back in with that Zoroark. A little taste of Luminosity's own medicine here. But Luminosity up 3.03 to only 1.09 for TTB. 
Curious is coming in. They're trying to keep these scores from going in, and it kind of works. The Mew uses their Unite Moves to collapse on top of Lutano, and they get that KO for that effort. Electro Ball on top of Celestial going to force them to back up a little bit as Ender is going to try and top them off with some HP. Curious' Mew has just been incredible. I, I swear, every time we see Curious, just superstar plays all day from this player. Ren now looking to secure this Regular Rock with Overlord right here. This is going to be great for Luminosity, make them a little tankier, a little more difficult to KO. We've got 50 seconds left until Rayquaza could be the last Rayquaza of the Pokemon Unite regular season. Yeah, Slash is playing forward. I don't know if it's for Vision. I don't know if they just got caught out. I don't know if they're trying to take wild Pokemon, but Lutano is all over. Yeah, nice little KO right there. But you know what? Tactical. Tactical reset, as they say. <laughs> tactical reset, indeed. Just like using that tactical Unite move at 209. Mm -hmm. All Every time I get KO'd, tactical reset, everyone. <laughs> TTV is rolling up top here. They're taking a look at this Regieleki. It's less to take, more to make sure LG does it. Yeah, absolutely. They just don't want to deal with this Regieleki right now. Burst it down with a ton of damage right here, and honestly, probably just walk straight away from it so that nothing crazy happens inside that Rayquaza pit. That looks like what's going to happen. It's going to walk into that top goal, give them very, very little. Only 20 points right here. TTV behind on score, and they may be starting this thing. Elo goes rings unbound. Overlord's on top of Zagrug, taking tons of damage. They use their Unite move. They're back in the other side. Everybody's low. Otter is so low. They're on the retreat. Comfy's on top of Celestial, and the stuns are coming out. This is a Unite move that needs to be leveraged. It's actually TTV taking the bodies. Two players down. They got big damage in. Where's TTV? They're gunning all over LG, and Overlord's trying to take care of Zagrug. Zagrug is so immensely tanky. They can't find anyone on the backside. Overlord, Kazo, and Zagrug. Rush, and we also have Otter down as Celestial is trying to level up. And Overlord looking the cheeky score. Oh no, Overlord finding Lutano right here. And you definitely don't want a Dodrio alone with a Gardevoir if you are TTV. This could spell big trouble. Overlord looking to pick up a massive KO right here. Lutano's not careful. Otter with a huge size shock. But Overlord able to get healed up by the soft boiled. And it looks like we are all resetting after a crazy start to this fight. Yeah, Slash throwing that Egg Bomb to keep Otter from being able to close that gap and use that Psy Shock was immaculate. Celestial over Elo, that's a courtesy KO they would have liked. They reset on top of the middle and on top of this Rayquaza. Celestial gets spun up by the Whirlwind. We're going to see who can collapse on who. They're still playing in the middle. Otter goes down. Elo TTV gets TTV takes Rayquaza. Are you Rayquaza. kidding me? Are you kidding? Lutano again from the top side. I don't know how they keep letting them get away with this. And now all the shields are getting melted. They still need to scramble to score. They're jumping into the top path. Lutano needs to get that 50 banger in. We got Elo on the backside. Putting their points in. Zagrug jumps. Can they stop it? Lutano can't get their points in. Luminosity still has the lead. Luminosity has the lead. 305, 229. TTV needs to score. They have a shield on a Comfey. They can pick up points with this Zorark, which they did. Those are all transferred over to Comfey. Everything over 50. They can drop them off at a goal, but her Shifu is at this one. It can pierce shield, so they're running down to this bottom goal because if her Shifu is there, they can stop this Comfey from scoring. Also, the shield is so incredibly small. Let's Let's see if they can make this happen. Ender hops <laughs> off. Ender tries to score. The they points are going. In. 64 in. points going for TTV. This could be it. If TTV, if that was just enough, we're going to watch this. Flip the screens up. Give me some energy right now. Ladies and gentlemen, TTV oh, wins it. TTV wins it. TTV takes it. Hey, it might be Grimace's birthday, but there's no smiles on the side of purple. TTV are your NA. Regional Finals Champions, Woo! Team TV somehow wins this thing in a bracket reset against the world champions. Going from the team who last year had the heartbreaking finish of getting knocked out in regionals to watch the world champions go on to win the whole thing. Now TTV comes back here live on stage at NAIC and wins the whole thing.